This is Bob Barr bringing you another edition of Liberty Guard's Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and, of course, follow Liberty Guard on social media. The law of the week that we're talking about today is one of our early laws, law number five. Law number five tells us, reminds us, that modern political leadership is a four-letter word spelled P-O-L-L, poll. Polls drive so much of what happens in politics generally, and Washington in particular, that it really throws chaos, public policy into chaos. If you try and look for a a factual, uh, an evidence-based reason for a change in public policy, often it just isn't there. But if you look at polls, you'll see precisely what is happening. There is often a very direct link, causal link, between a poll and a decision or a change in decision by a political leader in Washington. If the polls are down and dropping, all of a sudden there is reason and facts and evidence to change a policy. Or if polling indicates that what the public official or the public policy is doing, showing that it resonates with voters and polls are rising, presto, magically what the administration is doing is reinforced by the polls, not by the evidence or the policy itself, but by the polls. Even though this law of the universe has been with us since polling became uh, a fact of political life, uh, largely in the 1960s, somewhat in the 50s, but really in the 1960s when polls became uh, much more technologically or scientifically, so to speak, driven, uh, it's become obvious to anybody that really looks behind Uh, a policy shift by a president or member of Congress or governor, that what's really driving it is polls, not facts, not evidence, but polls. And they're really, as in so much of what we see these days, there's no better example than COVID. Just recently, for example, all of the Washington institutions in the Biden administration were demanding that masks have to be worn, that social distancing has to be observed, that COVID remains a threat everywhere in schools, on airplanes. Well, on airplanes, it still does, according to the administration. But everywhere else, of course, COVID remained a threat because the medical science and the evidence clearly indicated that. What happened? Right before President Biden gave his State of the Union address on March 1st. Magically, the need for those masks, the need for that social distancing disappeared. Now, we were told, of course, by CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, and others in the administration, this was because the evidence indicated a change in policy was necessary. Well, that's just not the case. The polls, for example, clearly show almost right up to the day of President Biden's State of the Union that his poll numbers were not just low, they were sinking rapidly. But what is really, what really illustrates for us the validity of law number five, that modern political leadership is a four-letter word spelled P-O-L-L, is a polling analysis provided by what obviously is a Democrat polling organization, Impact Research, dated February 24th, 
just a few days before the president's State of the Union and this miraculous change in COVID restrictions policies. This memorandum uh, it is directed to interested parties, whoever that is, but clearly Democrats. It goes on and on about how Democrats can get out in front of the COVID issue because Americans are weary and worn out by COVID restrictions uh, by declaring the critical phase of COVID is over, recognizing that people are worn out, acknowledging that while COVID still exists, Democrats have moved the country away from the COVID emergency. All of it is nonsense. It is simply poll driven. And I have to give this impact research group of folks credit because they make it very clear. They don't even hide the fact that it is all poll driven. So what can we do about the fact that so much in public policy is poll driven? Best thing to do is pay closer attention to what happens and very simply elect a better class of public official to these offices, whether it's president, whether it's governor, member of Congress, heck, county commissioner. We have to pay more attention to this because polls drive public policy, not science or evidence. And the way to get around that if possible, it's very difficult to, is to elect people to public office that are fact-based in what they do, honest and transparent about what they're doing. Hard to do, but absolutely essential to improve public policy in America. Thank you for being with us today. We look forward to being with you again during our next edition of Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe, brought to you as always by Liberty Guard. This is Bob Barr, and I'd like to thank you for having checked out our program here today, Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe. We appreciate your support, your participation, and encourage you to go to libertyguard.org to learn more about our programs and also to help support to further individual freedom and fight against government abuse. One of the ways, but not the only way we do this is through Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe, but through many, many other programs in support of individual liberty and against government abuse. So please remember to join us. Go to libertyguard.org and join us once again for Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe. Thank you. My name is Matt Strickland. Liberty Guard saved my family business. I spent most of my adult life fighting for my country overseas. When I came home, I became a small business owner and sadly realized that nobody would fight for me. Our state and local government were trying to shut my family business down for good. And that's when I found Liberty Guard. With Liberty Guard's help, we won the battle against government overreach. And now my business is thriving and growing faster than ever. Stand with Matt and others just like you in the fight against government overreach. Join Liberty Guard today.